Hello, students. Hope that you had an excellent Thanksgiving break. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're going to be working on this week in language arts, and we're also going to review what happened during our last chapter reading of Holes since it's been a couple weeks. The first thing that you'll notice about our schedule this week is that we will not be meeting on Zoom at the start of class on Tuesday. It'll be pretty rare that this happens, but when it does, I'll have some kind of video like this posted for you to watch. You'll also notice that our plan for this week is very simple. You're going to be reading on both days of the week. On Tuesday and Thursday both, you'll be reading several chapters of Holes. Besides reading, the only thing that you'll be responsible for is keeping up with your reading journal after completing both of those reading segments. Think of this week sort of as the calm before the storm. The only expectation is that you get through those chapters and stay caught up in holes because next week we only have one more reading day and then we'll finish the book and actually get started on our final project. So again, no Zoom meeting on Tuesday. You'll start class by reading either in the PDF or audiobook for holes, complete those chapters, and then get on Summit and finish your book journal for those chapters. On Thursday, you will log into Zoom. I'll post the link on Google Classroom. We'll discuss for a few minutes, and then you have a big chunk of reading to do on that day. Besides that, the only major thing that I wanted to mention is that don't forget to stay caught up with those content assessments. I'll be online at 9 a.m. on Tuesday if you want to meet with me if you have any questions or need me to approve those. And don't forget on Fridays to attend your mentoring session with your mentor. Now, it's been a couple weeks since we've read from Holes, so let's do a refresh of those chapters 30, 31, and 32. To start with, during our last reading, the campers have conflict when Zigzag begins to pick on and eventually fight Stanley. In response, Zero attacks Zigzag, attempting to strangle him. The attack is stopped and the warden is alerted. The warden proceeds to humiliate Zero and Zero's struggle to learn to read. Zero rebels after the warden forbids Stanley from teaching him anymore. Zero smashes Mr. Pendansky in the face with a shovel and then runs away into the desert. In the next chapter, we see Stanley angry and upset at everything that's happened. He worries about Zero, who hasn't yet returned from the desert. He hopes that Zero has fled to the mountain shaped like a thumb in the distance, which they call God's Thumb. The Warden and Mr. Sir question Stanley, wondering if they know what has happened to Zero. They decide to destroy any records of Zero, who they assume will die of thirst in the desert. And since they believe Zero has no family, they don't think anybody will come and look for him. In the final chapter of that reading, we had a new camper moves in and takes the, the cot where Zero used to sleep. Stanley believes that at this point, Zero has either found safety at God's Thumb or that he has died of thirst in the desert. Upset that Zero is still missing, Stanley steals Mr. Sir's truck and drives it into the desert. He doesn't make it far before he crashes into a hole, and then Stanley proceeds to run into the desert with no supplies, no water, and no plan. It was kind of a tough spot to leave off on before two weeks of not reading because we don't know what's going to happen to Stanley. We've established in the book so far that nobody escapes the desert. If they go into it, they either have to come back to the camp for water or they don't survive. In our reading this week, we'll come to the top of our rising action for the novel and into the climax or the most exciting part of the whole book. And with those summaries, I think you guys are ready for our book reading on Tuesday. Don't forget to do your book book journal entry after that as well. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for Zoom. Until then, have an excellent day.